Today, I thought we'd do something a little bit different and dive into a topic that's changing the shape of our industry as a whole, specifically the role of AI in security and tools. We're going to break down how AI is changing the way that we protect our applications and what challenges we face and whether all the excitement around it is truly warranted. And if you enjoy the video, then don't forget to like and subscribe and let's dive in. Managing privileged access is one of the toughest challenges in cybersecurity today. Every organization needs a way to seamlessly secure and manage access to critical resources like credentials, servers, web apps, databases, and workloads. But it's tough with today's environments that have both legacy platforms and modern cloud infrastructure. And so that's where Keeper Pam comes in. I've thoroughly tested Keeper myself, and it's impressive. The platform is intuitive, powerful, and seamlessly fits into any tech stack. Keeper Pam gives you complete visibility, security, and control over every user and device in your organization. And whether you're working across multi-cloud environments or on-prem systems or even remote workloads, Keeper Pam has you covered with features like passwordless access to your infrastructure, even on machines that don't natively support it, automatic password rotation to lock down service accounts, managed privilege sessions across any protocol, and eliminating standing privileges with just-in-time access. So whether it's managing privileged sessions, tunneling into SSH clients and database management tools, or securing multi-cloud environments, it simply works. Keeper are FedRAMP and StateRAMP authorized, ISO certified, zero knowledge, and the list keeps going. If you want to find out more, then head over to keeper.io forward slash TCM, or check out the link in the description below. So first up, let's talk about what's happening right now. AI isn't just for writing top 10 blog posts anymore. It's a growing part of the security world and our application security lifecycle. And I'm going to walk you through some of the main areas where it's actually making a meaningful impact. So let's start with vulnerability scanning and code analysis. So traditionally, we check our code for bugs and vulnerabilities with manual code review and rule-based automated tools. Now, now, these can be time consuming and especially when you're using automated tools and this is where AI might be able to assist us. Modern SAST and DAS tools are now leveraging machine learning algorithms which means that these tools can comb through code at a pace and depth that we as humans struggle to match. And they're not just looking for obvious syntax errors, but patterns that can hint at deeper security issues across larger and more complex code bases. And this efficiency can be a huge benefit for development teams, helping us to catch vulnerabilities before they come a real problem. But as we'll see later on when we talk about the limitations, we might not always get the results we want. Next up is anomaly and behavioral analysis, which in my opinion is AI's strongest area. Here, it's used to study patterns, whether it's network traffic, user behavior, or even system performance. The idea is to establish a baseline of what normal looks like and then flag deviations from that norm. This can also be helpful when dealing with zero days or attacks that are hands-on keyboard and might not follow usual predefined patterns. Let's imagine for a moment that you have an internal application that suddenly starts receiving traffic from an unusual source or experiences spikes in certain types of requests. An AI tool can quickly pick up on this deviation and alert your team before things escalate. Now, traditional tools can do this as well, but if it's not something that's been seen before, it could just fly under the radar. Moving on to threat intelligence and prioritization, one of the biggest challenges in security today is the sheer volume of alerts and data. Traditional systems often drown you in false positives, but AI can help here by sifting through massive amounts of data from a variety of sources like logs and threat intelligence, social media, and a lot more. And it can correlate this data and help prioritize alerts, even just to make them more accessible so that security teams aren't wasting their time chasing false positives and instead focus on the threats that really matter and this isn't just about reducing noise it's really about making your processes smarter and more efficient and it means that analysts are only called upon really when they're actually needed now let's talk about automation
automated response and remediation. And this is probably one of the riskier areas of using AI, or at least in my mind it is. So let's imagine our security systems don't just detect things, but also respond to them in real time. Now, this idea has been around for quite some time and plenty of tools have automated response capability, but usually only in fixed situations that we have manually written rules for. The real potential here, I think, is that we can create defense in depth where AI driven tools can handle the immediate response to an incident and give more time for security professionals to deal with the wider situation. And finally, let's touch on natural language processing. This branch of AI can help us by interpreting unstructured data like security reports, documentation, and even code. And with NLP, systems can quickly scan through vast amounts of text to identify potential risks or areas of concern that might not be immediately evident. So there you have it, a quick overview of how AI is being used in the world of security to enhance vulnerability scanning, behavioral analysis, threat prioritization, automated remediation, and even text analysis. And these innovations are making our security processes faster and ideally more effective. But as with any technology, there are limitations and challenges to consider. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about next. While AI can offer us a lot of benefits, it's not without its challenges. So we're going to highlight some of the limitations and issues that we need to keep in mind when integrating AI into our security practices. One of the main concerns that personally I think about is the risk of over-relying on AI tools. Now, tools can be useful, but to start with, they're only as good as the data fed into them. So if the data is of poor quality or unrepresentative, then your AI tool is going to end up flagging the wrong things or missing critical issues. And I have a hot take here, especially on tools that are being used to write code. A lot of the code that comes out of AI currently is pretty low quality. Unless it's a very simple script or task, then it tends to be okay. If we go on to use this low quality code to train future tools, then they're only going to get worse. So my assumption on the future of AI is that the tools are going to get worse, there's going to be a big gold rush for high quality data and then things will slowly improve over time. I'm not sure where we currently are on this journey but in my opinion that's what's going on. Another challenge is the issue of false negatives and these are instances where a threat isn't detected because the AI simply doesn't recognize it as anomalous. And on the flip side, AI can also be prone to training data biases. So if the data used to train models isn't diverse enough, the system might develop blind spots, making it less effective against novel or unconventional threats. Then there's the integration challenge. Many organizations still rely on legacy systems that aren't designed to work with modern tools and integrating new AI solutions into an old infrastructure can be complex and expensive. And finally, even with all its capabilities, I don't think we're even close to AI replacing an experienced human's judgment. There's always going to be a need for skilled people to interpret results, make decisions, and fine tune systems. So I think here the key is that we need a balanced approach that combines the speed and efficiency of AI driven tools with the critical thinking and expertise of human professionals. So whilst AI brings a lot to the table in terms of speed and efficiency, it's important to remember that it isn't infallible and there are risks of over-reliance, data quality issues, biases, integration challenges, and a conscious need for human oversight. So let's think more about the big question. Is AI really enhancing our security or is it all just sales hype? So this is where things get really interesting. There's a vibrant debate in the tech community about whether AI is truly transforming the security world or if its benefits are overblown. I already have an opinion on this, but it's good to explore the arguments from both sides. So at the very least, it can be thought provoking. So on one side of the debate, we have an optimistic view of AI. 
people who believe that AI is a game changer in the realm of security and argue that the ability of AI to quickly analyze massive amounts of data, detect subtle anomalies, and even automate responses is revolutionizing the way that we secure our systems. Then we've got a more skeptical view, the critical voices who caution against putting too much stock into AI. And generally the argument is that while AI can add some value, it's not a silver bullet. And of course we can reiterate the challenges that we talked about previously, like false negatives, data bias, and integration difficulties, and other things that mean that AI often falls short in the real world. Now, I think the biggest issue for me is that organizations might over rely on AI, neglect the necessary human expertise and critical analysis that still plays a role in cybersecurity. And there are plenty that argue that the hype around AI is driven by marketing and the desire to appear cutting edge rather than by solid measurable improvements in security outcome. From what I've seen in the development world, this is kind of similar. I've seen marketing slides that say efficiency increases for a developer to be 80, 90, 99%. But most of the tech leads that I've talked to after integrating AI into their teams and their teams using them for a while, they're reporting somewhere between an eight and 12% efficiency increase, which to be fair, if you're going to increase your efficiency by 10%, that's not to be snuffed at, but it's not the 90, 99% that was promised originally. So where does this leave us? The balanced view is that while AI can handle many of the routine and repetitive tasks, human experts are needed to interpret complex threats manage strategic decisions, and refine systems effectiveness. This collaborative approach is what will truly enhance security, making it more robust and adaptive in the face of evolving threats. And with all this in mind, it's clear that we need to be mindful of its limitations. But what about the future? Let's explore where this technology might take us in the years to come. Looking ahead, the future of AI is an exciting and rapidly evolving landscape. So in our last section, let's talk about emerging trends, what the next few years might hold, and some challenges that we might face along the way. So let's consider the emerging technologies that could further influence the world of cybersecurity. We're already seeing the rise of more sophisticated machine learning models, and as these continue to evolve, we can expect even more accurate and efficient detection systems. I suspect that AI will become a standard component in many systems, and we might also see a shift in the roles of security professionals, moving away from manually analyzing data to supervising systems and making more high-level strategic decisions. However, as we rely more on AI, we can also expect new challenges to emerge. We'll see that cyber criminals start to develop methods specifically designed to fool AI-driven systems, and the ongoing cyber arms race will continue, and that means both AI technologies and our approaches to security will need to be continuously updated and refined. Something else to consider is the ethical and regulatory side of Things. So many of us don't think about this too often, but as AI becomes more integral to our security systems, questions about privacy, accountability, and transparency will become even more pressing. How do we ensure that the AI tools that we use aren't biased or discriminatory? Who is responsible if an automated system makes a mistake that leads to a breach? And another interesting question is that ultimately, will heavily regulated parts of the world simply fall behind in terms of technology. Now, let's tackle something that a lot of people are thinking about. Given all these trends and challenges, what can you do to prepare for the future? Well, for starters, it's important to stay informed. Keep up with the latest tools, attend conferences, and engage in discussions about both the benefits and limitations of AI in security. Shying away from it, regardless of how you feel about it, is probably the worst decision to make. Now, to sum up, AI is undoubtedly reshaping the world of cybersecurity. It's helping us automate vulnerability scanning, detect unusual behavior, prioritize threats, and even automate initial responses to incidents. However, as with everything, it's not without its challenges. Over-reliance, data quality issues, false negatives, and integration hurdles remind us that AI should be viewed as a tool that works best in tandem with human expertise. And 
Thanks for sticking with me through this dive into AI's role in cybersecurity. I hope that you now have a better understanding of both the promise and the pitfalls of integrating AI into your systems. And if you enjoyed this video, then once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have some thoughts on where AI is taking us, then of course, let us know down in the comments below and I will catch you next time.